Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's DrewTube, and you already know, I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every Chosen Vessel to press that like button, press that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, here we go. How to know you're in the presence of evil amongst what seems to be an everyday normal person. Let's talk about it. How to know you're in the presence of an evil person. Evil people hate themselves. And however they feel towards themselves, they're going to take that out on others. Evil people will study you. All right. They will be studying you to figure out what you like, your dislikes. They will be asking you a lot of what seems to be like invasive questions. Evil people don't know how to just let you be around them and just live your life. They have to control the situation. They're going to have narcissistic personality disorders. They're going to have control issues. They're going to try to usurp dominance over you. And that's just a part of who they are. Not saying every dominant person or every person trying to usurp, usurp their dominance over someone is evil. But in most cases, evil people use that as a tactic to gain leverage on who they perceive to be a victim. So that's one thing you will notice about an evil person. They will ask you a whole bunch of questions. They'll try to be invasive. They'll try to get in your business. They'll ask you all sorts of inappropriate questions just to figure you out and just to try to get some information on you. That's the whole goal. Their goal is to try to get as much information on you as possible so that way they know what to nitpick. They know what your likes are. They know what your dislikes are. And they know how to hit you at what they feel to be is a weak point in your armor because they don't have many usages for their mind. It's not like they're an evil genius trying to take over the world. They're just an evil person that's on the peasant level of life. If you don't want to be anything, if you don't want to do anything, if you don't want to improve yourself, then you unfortunately, whether you know it or not, you're on the peasant level of life because you're going to stay in a position to where you're working towards making somebody else's life better. And I'm not saying that to discredit anyone or put anyone down because anybody that's working towards advancing on any level of life, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm the last person to try to put anyone down for that. I got a whole year's worth of videos that show that I'm not here to put anybody down. All right. I'm here to lift myself up first and foremost and help lift some other people up along the way. That's it. I even got love for you if you don't like my videos anymore. That's cool. No big deal. But um, back to what I was saying. All right. Um, and shout out to everybody that likes my videos. Shout out to everybody that comments. And shout out to everybody that's still sharing my content. I appreciate all the people who like my videos, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to you all. All right. So the one thing, more things that will let you know you're around the presence of an evil person is that evil people love to gossip. All right. They love to gossip. They got to find. That's why they have to find out your business. All right. They have to get in your business. They have to try to find out your business. They have to try to figure out certain things so they could connect certain dots so that way they could get a, a, a better feel for you because they need to know how to manipulate you. So that's one thing you'll see from evil people is that they'll ask a lot of questions, invasive ones. They'll try to figure out what you like, what you don't like. So that way they know how to manipulate you. 
And that's a part of their game because they don't know how to use their brain. It's not like they're an evil genius. They're an evil person on the peasant level of life. And since we're all trying to get up off that level of life, who has time to be evil? All right, who has time to be evil when you're trying to escape the matrix? A person who's slow, who's going to perpetuate the matrix and keep fueling it. These are people that don't understand they're trapped. These are people that don't understand they're slaves. These are people who don't understand that they're not doing any better than you, no matter what their position is, no matter what their level of life is, no matter what they say about you or how they feel towards you in the situation you're in. If you're still in the matrix like me, if you're not trying to help people and uplift people, if you're not a godly person, you're evil. All right, you could even scratch the last ones. You could just scratch everything but the last one. If you're not a godly person, you're evil. All right, if, if you don't have some type of, uh, of structure in your life where you don't, uh, you're not out to get other people, you're not out to put other people down, you're not out to condemn others for trying, you then you don't have to worry about that. But all the people who are purposely out there to try to stop somebody from shining, try to stop somebody from believing in God and spreading a positive message. Anybody that's trying to put you down because you don't believe the way that they believe, you don't see life the way that they see life, and they can't just let it go. Everybody can disagree without being disagreeable. But people who don't want to change, people who won't accept you for who you are and outwardly and openly condemn you for being who you are, that's evil. Doesn't matter if you saw somebody's page on social media. They're talking about that on social media. If somebody openly discusses something, yes, they put it out there. It's out in the open for people to hear. But for you to be a hater and be and take out how you feel on that person because you see them trying, that's evil. For you to take out how you feel on that person because you di you disagree, that's evil. You can disagree without being disagreeable. Being disagreeable is arguing with people over not uh, not having the same belief. You could debate, that's cool. You could compare, contrast for the sake of learning and education and edification, edifying, that's cool. Each one teach one. Steel uh, sharpen steel. You learn from me, I learn from you. You pick up some things I put down, I pick, pick up some things you put down. But to condemn others for simply having a different view and for believing that they could achieve success and for believing that they can get ahead in life and you're going to make fun of that person. You're going to discredit that person. You're going to make that person feel like they're less than you. That's evil, all right? When people can't accept you for you, when people can't just let you live your life, when people can't let go of things like your mistakes, when people can't let go of things that they know that you're into, all right? When people try to gaslight you over what you talk about on social media, evil, all right? When people just try to gaslight you in life, period, because they see that you're different from them, that's evil. You know how we can spot evil people. Evil people can spot us being righteous. Evil people can see that we don't have a righteous spirit on us. So when you are involved with an evil person, you think is an everyday person, that person is immediately, because they're evil, they're going to turn off all their energy. And it's, and it's not because you did anything to them. It's not like us turning our energy off because they're being negative. You could be positive to them. You could be polite to them. You could be a good person to them. You could be the up, most upstanding uh, lady or gentleman that you could be. And these people are still going to find fault with you. It's because they're evil and that, they got hate inside. They got hate in here and in here. And they don't know how to quell their inner qualms with you.
they don't know how to quell their inner qualms. All right. They don't know how to regulate their emotions and how they feel. So instead of going to God, instead of praying about it, instead of meditating, doing some research, figuring out what's wrong with them on the individual level on the inside, they feel that it's you that's done something to them. So like I said, evil people are going to take out how they feel on you once they realize that you're not like them. Once they realize that you're different, once they realize you have an anointing, once you realize you have the spirit of God on you, people are going to immediately start treating other people better than you. They're going to immediately start treating you different. You're going to realize that you don't fit in, but not just that. They're not, it's not like they're just ignoring you and it's not like they're just leaving you alone. These are people who are purposely out to try to sabotage you and you can see it. You can tell that your interaction with this person is not going to be doing you any good. You could actually feel, tell, and see spiritually that it's going to do you some very, very bad harm being around this person. When people are evil, their energy is bad and it's terrible. All right, Their energy is going to stink. They're going to be friends with your enemies. They're going to be friends with people that aren't good people. People who are bad people, they're going to treat them better than you and you're a good person and you've done nothing to them. This person is one of the, this person could be the most evil, mean, wickedest person that they could be, but they will still get liked before you because that evil person is amongst other evil people. And there's levels to being evil. All right. There's levels to being evil. Seeing something happen and not doing anything. That's evil. All right. You can't just turn a blind eye. And thank God's going. You, if you turn a blind eye, God will turn a blind eye on you. That's evil. You can't do that, and you you shouldn't do that. And that's how you know that's an evil person. All right, that's how you know you're in the presence of an evil person. They will talk bad about you without actually talking to you. They'll say something about something that you have on. They'll say something about your shoes, your clothes. But it won't be anything positive, but it, it'll be something that they say to affect you in some type of way. That's how you know you're dealing with an evil person. When somebody is out to try to make you feel bad about yourself just for trying. Those people are evil and they feel bad about themselves because they see someone who has more integrity. They see someone who has more power than them. They see somebody who's more intelligent than them. And because that it's making them feel some type of way, they're going to try to take that out on you. And people who don't go inward and do inner self work, majority of them, sorry to say y'all, but they're evil. Majority of people who won't work on themselves, but if, they, if they're the type of person that will take that out on another person, majority of those people are evil. The people who don't take out how they feel on others, they're not evil. They just are unaware. They, they may be aware that it's something they need to change. They may, may be aware of something they need to work on, but they look at it from an uh, inner conflict point of view. They don't look at it as, it's, I, I got to take this out on the world kind of thing. I got to take this out on somebody bothering me. When somebody is doing better than you and you take that out on them because of that, that's evil. That's how you know you're in the presence of an evil person. They'll gossip. They'll talk bad about other people. They'll try to get you to gossip and majority of what they say is negative. All right. When you when you're around evil people, they will be talking about things that they know they could see or they know spiritually that you won't want anything to do with. All right. Evil people, they keep pushing the envelope. They keep uh, pressing the point. Evil people do not let things go. When you're in the presence of evil people, they are going to keep saying what they're saying until they get a reaction out of you, until you get out of character and you show them a, a side of you that you, you didn't want to show. All right. So you should still try to keep that side to yourself. You should still always strive to give it to God. But just know if you ever did react, it's not totally your fault because people will try to bother you and get underneath your skin and try to make you fall out, try to make you react, try to make you give them some supply because they're evil and they know that they can't 
any other way, they can't touch you. They know they don't have anything on you as far as intelligence. They know they don't have anything on you as far as the type of person that you are. So that's why they have to come at your appearance. That's why they have to hit you below the belt. That's why they'll say things that you're like, wow, would you, you really just said that? We're at work. Wow, you really just said that? We're at church. You really just said that? You're my family member. You really just said that? I thought you were my friend. You really just said that? I thought you were my girlfriend. You really just said that? I thought we was boys. Evil people, y'all. Evil people get with you and try to hold back how they feel because they want to use you and they want to manipulate you. That's why these people will act like they're your friend. That's why they will fake fool and pretend. They're only fooling themselves because you can see it. You know something, you know something is off. Even if you don't know something ain't all the way wrong, something is off. Whenever you have a friend with something that's off, cut them off. Whenever you have an issue with someone that's off, cut them off. Whenever you're dating someone and an off circumstance presents itself and it doesn't look like it's, it, it doesn't look like it's something that can be worked out, it's like, yo, we're together. Why would you do that? It's time to cut them off. If your specific other or your person you're in a relationship with makes you do something like, yo, you would really say that in front of other people, it's time to cut them off. If they'll put you down and clown you and make fun of you in front of other people, like if they if people don't show you respect in front of other people, you need to cut those people off because they're evil. They're secretly working against you. Those are people who are gossiping about you. Those are people who don't like you. Those are people who will talk about you as soon as you get up and leave and your back is turned. Say you're sitting down and eating. You go to the bathroom. These people are talking about you from the second you get up and leave to the second you get back, even if it's on your birthday. Even if you go out to eat on your birthday with these people, they will, as soon as you get up, they will, when you come back, that's evil. All right, You don't do that to others. You're supposed to do unto others as you would want done unto you. Anyone that you don't, don't see doing unto others as they would want done unto them, that's an evil person. If that person is continuously out to just do harm to others, and if that person is continuously just out to just see bad in the world that they've done and, and, and do evil and see how people are affected by their negative actions, that's a bad person. That's somebody that you want to stay away from. That's how you know you're in the presence of an evil person. This person will not shut up when it comes to negativity. They know that you're a positive person. They studied you. They asked you certain questions. Even if they can't figure out everything, these people are very diab <clears throat> excuse me. These people are very diabolical and they'll figure out something. They'll figure out something that you don't like. Why do you think they're on your Facebook? Why do you think they're stalking your social media? You're you're not telling people anything about you. That's how you know people are evil. When you don't tell them anything about you, but they go and and dig and dig and dig and find up information about you. That, ladies and gentlemen, is evil. That's not right. Why are you trying to find out information about me that I won't tell you? Why do you have to know certain things about me? Why must you know certain things about me? Why do you have to require I give you this information? I'm not your friend. I don't know you. We don't know each other. I don't I don't know who you are. I don't know you from a can of paint. I'm not telling you my whole life story. You're going to use everything I tell you against me. You're a narcissist. What I tell you is going to get held against me like we're in the court of law. Everything I say will be held and used against me. Who's stupid over here? Not me. Maybe you, not me. They want us to be dumb so they could take advantage of us and they could treat us however they want. The days of, of people doing that to us are over. We're not allowing anybody to treat us however they want. And anyone that's a hater is going to die. Anybody that comes against you and you believe in God and you're doing the Lord's work, they're going to die. Plain and simple, they're going to die. It's, we're not wishing death on anyone, but you sow what you reap. Touch not my prophets or do my anointed ones no harm. You mess with children of God. You mess with the believers and the prophets and followers of the Lord who keep their word in his mouth day and night. You will fail. You will die. God will take your life. God will destroy you for me, for us. 
God will destroy them for our sake, says it right in the Bible. When they do things to us, we are to rejoice because they're doing it to us for the Lord's sake and they will be utterly destroyed. They will be utterly destroyed. So that's how you know people are evil. They don't care about what's good. They don't care about God. They do things and they feel that their evil actions have no recompense. They feel their evil actions have no repercussions. They feel there's no karma for their dirty deeds. But trust and believe there is karma for their actions. There is karma for their actions. So they just are they just are uh, are ignorant. They're just unintelligent. All right. And that's how, you know, people are evil. All right. That's how, you know, people aren't the best people for you. That's how, you know, you're in the presence of evil amongst what seems to be an everyday person. These people will seem nice. These people will seem polite. But as soon as they don't, as soon as they don't get their way, as soon as you tell them no and they throw a tantrum, that's how you know that's an evil person. When you don't give this person what they want, when you don't tell this person what they need to know, and because you didn't tell this person your whole business, you didn't give this person your whole life story, you didn't tell this evil person who you could tell is a backstabber and, and at nighttime with, with, uh, with a blindfold on, you can still see that this person is a, 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 a backstabber. All right. You can still see that this person is a backstabber at, at, at pitch black at night with a blindfold on. You could. I see you backstabbers out here. All right. You like a mole. You like a mole when it comes to backstabber. You can't see you, but I sure can smell you. All right. And evil, yo, evil people don't wash. You didn't hear that from me. Probably smelled it on them. But ne yo, ne nevertheless, look, here we go. Look, evil people, right? They are not going to be able to comprehend the God in you, all right? They're not going to be able to comprehend anything good when it happens to you. When things, when good things happen to you, they're going to turn their face. They're going to turn away. When they see you shining, you just get a new haircut. You just get a new car. You just get some new shoes. They're going to act like they don't even see you. Haters, all right? People that have hate in their heart, they're evil. People who can't have love for other people, they're evil. All right. When people act like they don't see you, but they want you to try to give them attention. They want you to worship the ground they walk on. They want you to kiss their behind. That's evil. We're not doing that. You're not God, especially not in my life. I don't know what you sipping on. I don't know what you took. <laughs> I don't know what somebody, somebody must have slipped you a Mickey or something because you ain't God. Not to me, not to anyone. People in positions of power or people who have positions over you and they abuse their power, that's how you know you're dealing with an evil person. Somebody who can't just, okay, this is my, this is who I am. This is my position. I have a, a position over this person. No, they want to take out their position on you because they feel insecure. They feel angry. They feel jealous. They feel hateful. They have hatred towards you. That's how you know the person is evil. They're doing things to try to affect you. They're doing things to try to give you a hard time. Well, everybody went through that. Everybody goes, to, it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. They might have went through it, but I'm not going to go through it. I'm not going to stand for it. The God in me won't stand for it. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at God. This is the spirit he put in me. God didn't put the spirit in me to sit down and get walked on. God put the spirit in me to stand up and do the trampling. God put the spirit in me to stand up and, 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 and put my authority all on a snake or a scorpion and step on them and crush them. God gave me the authority so I would be the head and not the tail. These enemies, these haters, these narcissists, these negatives, they're going to be the tail. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. We're done being the tail. We're, I said, we're done being the tail. We're done being the tail. God is making us the head, and that's why we're getting ahead, and it's killing them. When your success is killing somebody, when people don't want to, when people rather see you do negative, and then when good things happen to you, they don't want to hear about what happens to you positively. They still want to keep that negative fresh flowing in your mind. 
They still want you to feel bad about the good that you're doing, being and having. They try to minimize the effort that you're doing. That's an evil person. And the, 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 the fault lies with them, not with you. The fault lies with them, not with us. That's how you know you're in the presence of an evil individual. They always have something negative to say no matter what. They always have an attitude towards you for no reason no matter what. They're mean to you and nice to everyone else. They treat you like crap, but they treat everybody else good. You have to wonder and ask yourself, how come I get treated different? How come I notice this person seems friendly with everyone else, but they give me such a hard time? It's because you're better. All right, when people treat you worse because and they don't even know you, it's just from how they look at you. It's just from you interacting with them a couple times. Now they're negative. Now they're hateful. Now they're evil. That's not a good person. And the, you know, their actions are going to be upon them in more ways than one. Woe to those who call good evil and evil good. Woe to those who call good evil and evil good. That's how you know you got an evil person. This person is going to consider all things that are evil good. This person is not going to have a problem harming another person's body. This person is not going to have a problem seeing another person get fired. This person is not going to have, we rebuke all that. This person is not going to have a problem seeing another person get hurt, not have something to eat, not have a place to go. They're not going to care about you uh, 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 making sure that you could take care of your life like everybody else can. They're going to have a disregard for you. And that's how you know they're evil. That's how you know they're a child of Satan. Only children of Satan will have a disregard for a child of God because they're not trying to look out for you. Because God is already looking out for you so much. God is already doing so much for you. So when you could spot the people that are jealous of you because God's favor on your life, when you could spot the people that hate you because of God's favor on your life, when you could stop the people that are trying to stop your success because of God's favor on your life, they try to give you a hard time and don't even know why. They hate you and they don't even know why. They hate you because you have God's power in your life. They hate you because you have the spirit of God on your life. And these people, they are godless. They're lifeless. They're energyless. They're walking around like the walking dead. They don't have no spiritual sense. They don't have no spiritual intellect. They don't have no mind's eye. They don't have no Christ mind. They don't have no Jesus in them. They don't have no God in them. Walking around uh, uh, eating unhealthy, not eating no fruits or vegetables terrible crappy diet walking around all congested and 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 full of you know what and 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 not exercising not taking care of their health not doing anything to better themselves not not uh doing anything to fix their situation and some of them already are ahead of you they just jealous and hateful towards you because they're not you they wish they could be you what do you think all those stairs are for? That's how you know you're in the presence of an evil person. You ain't did nothing to them. You ain't said not one word to them. And they just looking at you, just evil. Who is that? Looking at you like you did something wrong to them and you ain't even said one word. That's how you know these people are evil. All right. So you have to, you have to know these things because you don't want to think one of these people is your friend asking you all these questions, trying to be in, you, you think they're insightful. You think they're trying to get to know you. No, they're trying to destroy you. They're trying to destroy you. People that try to get to know you will let you open up to them. People that are trying to get to know you will let you open up to them. They don't force anything on you. Evil people will try to force things on you and make you do things that you feel uncomfortable doing. Why are you asking me these questions? I'm not, I don't feel comfortable. I'm not answering that. Oh, now, I, because I'm not telling you not now that I'm not giving you things to use against me. Now we're not cool. You're evil. It's, e it's easy to see. It's real easy to see. People will turn over to people will turn on you over the smallest, simplest, uninfractional things as they acting like you made an infraction on them and you didn't. All you did with yo, when you played this, this is what I was looking for y'all. This is this the last sign that you know you're dealing with an evil person. They lash out when you place boundaries. When you place boundaries on people, they lash out. 
They treat you like they don't know you. They treat you like you're their worst enemy. All because you set a boundary on your life. All because you said, I can't do it. I won't do it. I'm not doing it. Now they see you as a mortal enemy because they see themselves as more powerful than you. They see themselves as better than you. They see themselves as over you. They may have something that you don't and they see themselves as better than you for it. So they look at you as being less than them because material possessions, because material possessions, you're going to see yourself better than me because material possession, you can do that. But in the eyes of God, he don't look at it that way. God looks at what's in your mind. He looks at what type of spirit you have. And he looks at what's in your heart. I applaud everybody for getting themselves what they need in life. I applaud everybody for putting themselves, getting themselves ahead in life. But what we don't applaud is you putting yourself above somebody else. Even when I get to where I want to get, I'm never going to put nobody above me. And I'm not going to put no, myself above nobody else. Only God. Only his son. That's it. Only people that are ever, only people that you're supposed to put above yourself. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be putting yourself first. You're supposed to be putting God first. You're not supposed to be worrying about how people feel. And that's how you know you're in the presence of evil. All right. When people, when you're being yourself, when people won't allow you to be yourself, when people want to try to control the person that you are, when people try to make you be what they want you to be. And you don't fit their narrative. You don't wipe. You don't kiss their behind. You don't. You you don't appease to them. Right. You don't do everything they say. You're not a good boy to them. You're not a good girl to them. We don't have to be. That's not what we're here for. I'm. I'm. I'm not alive to be your friend. I'm not alive to do what you need me to do. I'm not alive for you. I'm alive for me. I'm not living my life worried about how you feel about me, how you're going to act towards me. That's not why I live my life. I live my life to praise God, to uplift myself, to make sure I'm good and to uplift others and spread some positive energy and to spread God's word. And that's it. Only reason why I'm alive. Only reason why I was put here. Make some, make some good music, make some, make some, some good alliances with some brothers and sisters of Christ of God and to spread God's holy word and his holy message. All right. And to, to be the best person that I could be and to constantly improve and to constantly make myself better. That's the only reason why I'm here. That's the only reason why you're here. You're not here to kiss people's butt. All right? You're not here to kiss people's butt. You're not here to appease anybody. You're not here to please anybody. You don't have to, you don't have to lower yourself or you don't have to give in to these people's wicked ways. They know what they're doing is wrong. You know what they're doing is wrong because it makes you feel wrong when they do it. They feel that they can get over on you and they feel that they can get away with it and they feel that nothing's going to happen to them. And that's how you know you're dealing with evil people. People who have no regard for God. You know that they're pure children of Satan, the spawn of Satan. They don't have no regard for God. They'll attack you. They'll they'll say mean, ignorant, evil things to you. They'll try to lower your vibe, lower your energy, drain your energy, try to destroy your spirit from the inside out, make you feel like a terrible, horrible person. All because of what they're dealing with. All because they won't go to God and ask them to heal them. All because they won't go to God and ask them to fix them. People who do not change. People who don't, people who don't self-improve, I'm starting to think that they're evil, y'all. If you not, if you don't do self-improvement, if you don't change, if you don't work on yourself, I'm starting to think all them people who don't want to improve, and I'm not, I'm not talking about people who haven't. I'm talking about people who legit just don't want to do better, but they want to, they want to complain, they want to shoot down others for trying, and you won't do anything about your own situation. But you got something negative to say about him, her, and them? That's not the ones, y'all. Stay away from people like that. All right? Ask to, ask to sit by somebody else. Ask to be around somebody else. All right? Maybe, and even if you have to, find someplace else to be. All right? Because you can't be around evil people like that. You can't let evil people try to break you down. You can't let evil people try to destroy your life. Try to destroy what you're trying to build. And, and even though they can't, still you shouldn't put yourself in harm's way. 
All right, so always be plotting, always be scheming, always be praying, always be thinking, always be affirming, always be impressing in your subconscious mind what you want, what you want God to do for you. All right, so that way you can get these evil people out your life because God doesn't want them there. God doesn't want evil people in your life and neither should you. So if you see anybody displaying any of these types of behaviors, you know they're evil and you know to cut them off. You know, to not tell them anything you wouldn't want used against you. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. Salute to the Galactic Family. And shout out to the Drew Nation. I'll see everybody in the next video. I appreciate all the likes. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the new subscriptions. All the new subscribers. Peace, love, happiness, joy, wealth, health, prosperity, and success. I'll see everybody in the next video. Don't let them tell you what you can have. Don't let them tell you what you can't have because they ain't nobody to do that. I'd like to thank everybody again. I'll see you all in the next video. It's been another Drew Tube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. Don't let them make you feel bad about yourself because they don't have the power to. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.